there are literally hundreds of people here fossicking around in the mud looking for the elusive diamond. We are on the way. Someone's now kicking over rocks and hunting the surface of the ground because she read that some bloke was just wandering about and he found a $58,000 diamond. So now she thinks her chances are up there with all the rest of them. What's going on there? So did you find one? You find one? Did you find one? Yeah, find big rock. <laughs> so this building over here is covering a sixty foot deep mine shaft that goes into the ground which has um, collapsed a little bit but obviously they don't want people going anywhere near it so there's a big little hut built over the top of it. Just as uh, New Zealand is obvious with its naming of things they have two islands, one's called the North Island, one's called the South Island. This hut is called the Mine Shaft Building it's covering up the mine shaft. All right, so this is a nice little sign here. Uh, if I can get it in the picture. Uh, it explains that the reason the isn't a commercial operation here is the size and quality of the diamonds is quite low, which makes it not commercially viable. But there's a fairly substantial uh, quantity of diamonds here meaning that it is worthwhile for people to come down and have a crack and see if they can find one. I would think that at $15 a ticket to come in here, the um, state park is making more money from selling punters a chance to find a diamond than what the diamonds are actually worth. Good business model. Well, there are these little shovels um, scattered all around the mine site. Uh, look like this. Um, basically positioned where people have found substantial sized um, diamonds. The one that was found here was an inch long, worth 145,000 US dollars. Not bad for $15 investment. By the way, if you do find a diamond, you have to pay the taxes on it, so it's not all free. Okay guys, um, Crater of Diamonds in Arkansas, interesting place, a lot of people in here uh, collecting the mud and gravel and everything and then cleaning all the 
the silt out of it and sicken it in buckets so they can take this gravel home and search through it later. Um, Janie and I came at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The park is open from 8 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We were not that keen on scurrying around in the mud with everybody else. Um, but yeah, interesting. You could come up here and spend a day and um, get really muddy and you know, take four buckets of gravel home with you and maybe you get something. Maybe you don't. Alright, so Janie, would you be kind of keen to come back up here and foster around the mud and look for that elusive diamond? By all means, go ahead and do it and bring back a diamond as big as your head. That will be good. The diamonds are not as hard as my head. <laughs> oh, hang on. That's not right. The diamonds are not as thick as my head. <laughs> Thick. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.